Hello, this is Bart and welcome to another episode of Bicycle Rider YouTube. And today we have got the specialized comp carbon, Diverge. And uh, I, I just wanted to let the cat out of the bag that this is my wife's new gravel bike. Um, you know, we call it gravel bike, but it's really an all roads bike, especially right now. We are in the midst of the uh, Corona pandemic and we have asked, been asked not to drive to group rides. Um, if you can ride out your front door, ride your bike, please. And I think a lot of people are doing that. I'm so proud people are out there riding their bikes, getting fresh air. And we have had a lot of people come in the bike shop lately and trade in their road bikes and their aero bikes. Because basically, a lot of times when you're doing that, you're, you're riding with a group or you're meeting a group. So it takes, takes you loading your bike up and going somewhere. And that's what they're asking us not to do right now. If you can ride out your front door and ride the roads that are readily available to you, then it really opens up a lot of opportunities for you to get on your bike and go. And this bike does go. Um, of course, my wife's a little bit spoiled with bikes, and I, I like her that way. So when she was looking at the Specialized Diverge, and nothing else was going to be good enough for her was the Specialized Diverge. And one thing that we really liked is, is uh, the Specialized Diverge has this future shock, and the future shock suspends the rider and not the bike. So you don't have a whole lot of suspension down on the bike that's uh, you know taking up energy that's take, using weight. It just has enough suspension up here that when my wife is going over let's say the Biloxi Ocean Springs Bridge and there's a lot of heavy duty expansion joints she can hit those expansion joints at 20 something miles an hour and her wrists are are you know not taking the impact the, the Future Shock is doing that and the, this new Future Shock is is really a uh, <laughs> a life saver, a wrist saver, a hand saver, um, a fatigue saver. So look into more about this uh, uh, future shock in another video. Um, like I said, this is my wife, so it's going to be a long-term review. I'll, we'll get to do a lot of ride videos and, and just show some of the benefits of this, of this bike. Well, let me just talk about, you know, why she picked this bike over some of the other models. And I'm going to tell you right now is because basically it has a full Ultegra Grupo. Uh, it's a $3,700 bike, so it's not a, a low price bike, but when you start looking at some of the higher end carbon fiber gravel bikes, uh, it's not on the high end either. It's, you know, priced very well for what you get. And my wife likes precise shifting, she likes no miss shifts, and she likes very good braking. And with the Altegra um, group set that is on this bike, and it's full Altegra, um, the shifters that she is using uh, are, are very comfortable, they're very ergonomic. When you're spending a lot of time on this bike, this, this is just a, a nice cockpit to use. Everything is very, you know, very smooth and, and refined. Uh, you're kind of looking at the bars here, and when, when you see this picture of the bars, you can see that, you know, Specialized has got something called a hover bar, and here they've, they've really put a lot of flare and, you know, rise into the bar. And this bar is just ergonomically, oh my gosh, it's just, you know, it's comfortable. It's nice and wide, so if you are in a gravel situation or an urban situation where you need a lot of control, this bar goes wide enough to, to really let your, your body control this bike and put this bike where it needs to go. Um, you know, you're coming up onto a manhole cover uh, at high speed. You can get this bike out of the way. Uh, you're on the gravel route and you see, you see some ruts coming up. This bike, will, this bike will let you get out of the way quick. Um, I'll get back to, uh, back, back to the drivetrain. But the drivetrain, you know, of course we've got, we've got a, a, a Praxis Work Zantec M30 crank. So it's a hollow crank, it's a stiff crank, it's a very sturdy crank. I've never had anybody complain that this crank is not putting the power down the way it should. Um, very nice chain rings, once again, made it to the Praxis Works. And this is a, a, a 4832, and it's made out of a 7075 T6 aluminum. So you got nice chain rings that will handle the power you're gonna put down. Uh, top, swing, um, top swing front derailleur, so that lets you have a wider tire because the way this derailleur swings, it is not getting in the way. You can see I've got plenty of room between this big Pathfinder 38 tire. And of course you can put uh, bigger tires on this bike, but it comes with Pathfinder 38s, which are friggin' phenomenal tires. But there's plenty of room with this front derailleur. So the way they have uh, designed this front derailleur, uh, mated to this Diverge carbon frame, gives you plenty, plenty of clearance. Um, on the back end, you know, we've got the new 
RX Altegra clutch derailleur. So this is a Altegra derailleur, but built with a clutch. So, you know, when you are hitting on the gravel roads or something, you don't have a lot of chain slap because your derailleur is having to compensate. This, this, this derailleur um, is a clutch. And of course you could turn the clutch on, turn the clutch off. Uh, we usually run the clutch on because it just stops any mischiefs and it stops that chain from bouncing around. So it's not like it's a, it's a roadie derailleur. I mean, they have specifically designed this derailleur to be Altegra solid. Uh, people who like pr pr precise shifting are going to go with an Altegra. And they have made it also, you know, really bulletproof with an with a internal clutch that, you know, it actually, you can set the clutch tension on this. So it's, it's pretty nice. Um, since we're down here on the floor, let's just point out the, the DT Swiss 470 uh, R470 wheels. And, you know, DT Swiss um, is very tried and true wheel builder. They've got a sealed bearings in the hubs. And this is a rock solid wheel that is going to take the, the punishment that you're going to put out there on the gravel roads, uh, even gravel racing. You can hit potholes at, at top speed on, on these rims and, and pretty much be assured that these rims aren't going to come apart in you, uh, on you. They are tubeless ready. They're ready to go if you, if you decide to go tubeless. You know, it's a really high quality wheel set and, and you know, and it's just made it to a, a complete high quality package. So this, you know, this whole package is one that is, you know, if it can keep my wife happy, it probably will keep most people happy. I turned it around so you can take a look at the brakes. And this is, an, you know, of course, an Altegra um, brake system on here with Tech rotors. And I have to say that my wife and I were riding this morning. That's why the bike is looking a little bit dirty. It is a bike that gets ridden. And we were in some uh, gusty 30 mile an hour winds. And she did notice that these, uh, these rotors um, caught a little bit of wind on some of those crosswinds. But I mean, the wind was blowing so much that I think it would be hard to avoid any, any rotors, you know, taking a, a, a bit of crosswind. But uh, she never complained about stopping. You know, if we had to stop short because of a, a car cutting us off or, you know, a dog or something like that, um, the bike stops fantastic. It doesn't make a whole a bunch of squealing noises. And, you know, if, if that dog that came out to chase us, um, felt spunky and instead of hitting the brakes, Kathy could click a couple gears and, and probably get away from that dog on this bike because this bike is phenomenally fast. The way they've engineered this, this bike with a, you know, sh short chain stays, um, you know, a drop seat stay. So you get a little bit of compliance on this bike. Actually, this bike is butter smooth the way they've designed it. Smooth, stiff, fast. There's just a lot good to say about the Diverge line in the first place. But when you made a diverge to carbon fiber and the way, especially the way, you know, Specialized does this, this is a R9 carbon fiber, full fork, nice rake. There's just so much to be said about this S wrap bars. Um, I still call this the cobble gobbler seat post, but it's a S works GCRC, something like that seat post. Um, power saddle. Everybody loves the power saddle. I don't know how many people, you know, come into my shop that have bought other brand bikes, but they want a specialized power saddle because the thing just works fantastic. It's, uh, of course, body geometry has been incorporated into this whole package. So I can't say uh, much, you know, I don't really have anything to say bad about this bike. Um, it's been a performer. It's fairly new in my wife's hands, but we are going to push this bike uh, to the max. And if uh, a problem arises or an issue arises, uh, I will definitely shed the light on that. And that's what, you know, we do on the Bicycle Rider. So, uh, you know, if you do like our content, please subscribe to us. We don't ask for any money. Just hit the subscribe button. It helps YouTube rank us. And it allows us to, uh, you know, spend money on, on, on stuff like this that, you know, we want to show the public, you know, you can get out and ride out your front door. Um, a bike like this is very capable of group rides. Uh, but it all is also a, a bike that lets you, you know, tackle the city streets and make it out to the nice country roads and back. Um, there's just so much good to be said about the gravel segment, um, all road segment, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. But my, you know, my wife bought this bike to ride around town. And when we do, you know, uh, gravel rides, this is a, a double as, as that as well. So the specialized Diverge Comp Carbon roughly $3,700. Um, it might seem pricey, but everything you can do on this bike and, and the, the full Altegra built with, you know, the specialized uh, 
Um, body geometry that's been incorporated in this bike, I think $3,700 is actually a bargain for a bike of this caliber. Um, if you get a chance to test ride one of these, do it. If you want to just go ahead and, and hit the buy button, it's worth it. I mean, I'd love to put a bike like this in your hands just so you can feel how good it is. High quality bike, great price, specialized to verge, a comp carbon. I don't think you can go wrong. Thank you.